Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. For those of you that joined later, welcome. Thank you for, for watching this. Uh, my name is Cindy. I am at Simply Cindy. Uh, I am a psychic medium. I love doing astrology. That's my passion. Uh, I am a hypnotherapist or an herbalist, a like you name it, I've done it, right? Tarot is something that's always been with me i am um i can say that i'm very good at it <laughs> just that for the longest time i had two other channels indigo tarot and your indigo path had a lot of followers there they love tarot i had stepped away from that and um was doing a lot of mediumship hypnotherapy herb stuff, um, a lot of healing stuff. So during the time of all of our healing, of all of our growing, uh, I had not been called back to do Love Tarot. Uh, and then I saw that there was a whole bunch of other Love Tarot, right? But um, this is something that's really special to me. This is not something that I do all the time because I find love, whether it's romantic or friendship or partnership or whatever very uh important is it the most important thing for me not um i've learned through my journey that integrity has more uh light uh power whatever thrust behind it so uh i haven't for that reason i haven't been called to do it i haven't i've, I've been my journey has been on another in another way but my journey finally with my heart has intersected at once again with tarot and because i know everybody loves love tarot i wanted to do something for everyone for this channel just to let you know that i feel you i see you and i want to help if i can provide any help guide you in that for those of you that have never seen me i don't sugarcoat and i pretty much like everything else go really really deep I am more of a tarot reader and not an oracle reader. Um, I think it's that Virgo side of me that wants that order. Um, but if you've seen me before, you know I'm not really an oracle reader. But I thought, well, why not pull these cards? All right, so <clears throat> I will start when I start with a sign. I'm going to probably pull an oracle and then see what the theme is see what it is that can help you so my intention is to get everybody some clarity those who listen those who understand uh those who are ready if you're not ready you're not going to hear it right i can tell you over and over and over again in 50 million different ways but if you're not ready you're not ready right so what i ask everyone to do while i'm doing this is please take a deep breath center yourself and open your heart because i am not one that interferes in energy if you don't let me in i won't go in i'm not going to force myself in anybody's energy okay so ego says i'm excited thank you for doing this i'm gonna go make myself a nice drink and relax absolutely everybody need go make yourself a nice drink and relax while i start saying all this stuff but it is important if you want uh, and if you're joining to open that heart of yours, open that chakra, heart chakra of yours, take a deep breath, relax. Uh, I will know some things. Uh, your guides will be telling me whether I can make that public or not. My guides will be telling me actually, uh, will be telling me if I can make that public or not. So, um, they're very good at that. And let me know. Uh, again, I will not force myself into anyone's energy. If your heart is open and you're receiving, I want to give you some clarity. I want to give you some healing and I want to give you some, uh, and I don't want to give it to you. I want to help with that, right? Help give you some growth, some clarity, some closure, some healing. Okay. So, um, yay, Kathy, thank you for all the emojis. For those of you that want to join my membership, 
I have just started my membership. There are people that have joined. You get those four emojis. And we'll be doing stuff like this where I am going to be doing per sign for astrology and for tarot. Okay, like one month I'll do astrology, one month I'll do tarot. Uh, something like that. But uh, this is where you get that extra stuff. And I'm trying to keep it at $4.99. I do, do not want to go to another level. I just want to keep it at $4.99. <clears throat> um, and you guys know YouTube takes half of that. So I think $4.99, if I can get 2,000 people, then that's what I'm working towards so that we can do per sign. Right? Because that takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. So I know my daughter did those. I love that. Uh, she did those emojis from scratch. Like from scratch, scratch. <laughs> like she drew them. <laughs> She's really good. And I'm sort of a different reader. I understand time and space a little differently than everyone else. I understand dimensions a little differently than anyone else or other people. Most people on YouTube tarot readers. But so I know that this card... Think of Schroding, Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's. Is it Schrodinger's? Why can't I say that word? Schrodinger's cat? Yeah. It's the space of what is this card? It could be any until we turn it over and observe it, right? So because I have that understanding, it doesn't matter whether I shuffle or not. The card that it's supposed to be is supposed to be because that is my intention and focus. And I know that there's magic in this world. Uh, I'll be doing Taurus next. This is for your sun, moon, rising, and um, Venus. And I just realized I was looking over here at this camera when I'm trying to talk to y'all instead of this camera. So I apologize. Uh, on Taurus. On to Taurus. Let's see what Taurus has. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like a lot of you feel like you have a weak heart and you don't. I think your heart is a stronger, is way stronger than you realize it, what it is, right? That's what I feel. Hold on a second, I'm going to take a drink. So those of you that see me later, I know you've been through hell. Not just in life, like hell in your heart. Just amazing that you still, some of you, have your heart open. Amazing. There's no reason why you should have your heart open, but you do. Amazing, amazing souls. Those are the souls I'm talking to. Not the ones that want to be like, oh, what's my next date? What's my... No, that's not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the warrior souls in love. This tarot... The spaces I'm looking at uh, is not for the week. It's not. One more time. Okay. All right. Let's see what the oracle cards are for Taurus. Shuffle them one time. What does spirit or your higher self want you to know? There we go. I told you if it comes out. I'll look at it, but... Oh, I don't even know if I can reach it. Um, hold on a second. I don't know if I can reach it. I may not be able to reach it. Yeah, I think it's a lost cause. <laughs> Let's try again. I told you. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wow. Birth of creation. That is appropriate. 
because there's a lot of tourists that are working on their new stuff. So let's see. Number six. Okay, birth of a new creation. Since ancient times, the egg has been a symbol of the universe creation and life itself. It's symbolic of the holy resurrection and trinity, the seed of potential life and luck and wisdom. A representation of a womanhood and fertility, eggs need incubation and serve a, as protection for the growth of or for the growing life within. A gathering of energy, a combination of light and shadow, yin and yang, all meeting in one sacred space, evolving and growing at a rate invisible to the outside world. Like any egg, life can be fragile. Given a sustainable environment, life emerges, cracking and opening <clears throat> it's protective layer to witness the outside world. You are also a product of your environment. Everything that is around you is destined to evolve, change, or develop as you grow physically. These environmental influences from a part of your conscious action as you adapt to the world around you. Spending time with other people can influence your behavior your character, your thoughts, and your beliefs. Positive or negative, their energy integrates with yours and can also affect your choices. I hope that you're hearing this, Taurus. Spend more time with people that ignite the fire in your soul rather than those that hold you back from your success. Right now, your spirit is asking you to try new routines. Get creative. Create a vision board about what you would like to achieve in life. Whether small or large goals, interest or short or long-term achievements. Take the time to nurture these areas. Birthing new ideas and projects now will bring many blessings. Family matters, children, and fertility are all in focus right now. Seek professional advice to maintain or provide a sustainable and healthy environment. If you are preparing to start or add to your family, your physical issues and emotional matters need to be addressed now. Hi, Wendy. Now, the shadow aspect of not listening <laughs> and wanting to somehow think that you're more comfortable than actually doing this is resurrecting the path rigidity, victim-based mindset. Okay, that's the shadow aspect. Like, if this isn't true for what I was seeing for Taurus, this is so true. It's so true. Like, you will be in spaces and have people around you that are taking from you, that are draining you. And this is because you have told yourself in your head, I'd rather be this comfortable than, not be, than to be uncomfortable right? But you don't realize if you were to be step into the uncomfortable, it only it's not very long that you become really, really comfortable, even more so than you had been. Okay, so here we go, Taurus. This is your love reading. Good luck. Let me see what I get. Hmm, very nice. You have the sun. What's crossing you? Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, you've got this energy coming in with the sun. Good job, Taurus. What brought you here? The Hierophant. <laughs> the systems that you hate. The realization that you didn't want to do this anymore. Like, that's what brought you here. Uh, that's only some part of it. Uh... Okay, from now till the end of the year, what's coming for you? Ooh, you have the King of Swords. So you have opportunity coming in a big way for some of you. Some of you, if you're single, you have you have someone coming for you. <laughs> this is the King of Swords. He's a king. 
Yeah. I think you've gotten better or you're getting better. But he's really going to move you. Yeah, he's really. You're going to see the reason why you need to move more, right? Take chances, take some risk, live some life, right? It's like, yes, it's nice to be comfortable. It's nice to be in your home. It's nice to gather with people. That's all nice, but you're missing the excitement. And I think this guy brings it to you in doses, right? He's not going to like <clears throat> sweep you off your feet and for whatever. It's more like, okay, it's time for some movement, right? Um... What does your higher self want you to know? Or, or, yeah, your higher self. You have the moon. Yeah, your higher self's like, be very clear. Don't ignore the red flags. Watch your mood. Yeah, some of you I'm seeing like you're too empathic. And you just sort of cling on to the other person's energy. To make you stable. Instead of having your own energy make you stable. Mm, I will say this because I'm seeing that the other person is suffering physically. And I'm not saying you're trying to be mean to do this. I'm just saying this is what's going on. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a little bit. And see if I can get back in there. Now this is in January. Uh, after this happens, ooh, you got you got the strength card. Okay. Mm. I feel like some of you are really going to know what to do. This is a very different energy that I'm feeling for those of you that have been on your own, Taurus. I don't feel like you're stuck. I feel like you know exactly what you're going to do here. Like there's going to be where normally if you haven't dated in a long time or whatever, you would sort of do the whole, I'm not you specifically, but people would do the whole, well, I'm not really sure. I don't know what I want. I thought I knew what I wanted. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't feel that at all with you. I feel like that just encourages you more to go for it. Okay, so what are you afraid of? Yep. You got to open that heart, Taurus. This is going to be one of the biggest things for you. You're afraid to go deep with somebody again. Yeah, because some of you see that it just wasn't worth it. Or you think that right now. <coughs> Excuse me, though you long... Know you long for that deep, deep connection. It's almost like I don't want to waste any more of my time. I tried it. I did it. It's done. I don't know if I can do it again. I, I'm not in charge of my heart. I don't know if I can do it. Right? That's part of you where the other part is like, no, but I really want to. <laughs> Some of you won't admit that. Um, okay. How does the universe see you or how does a partner, if you have a partner, see you? King of Pentacles. Of course they do. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Very stable, very loving. Um, It's not like service to the person, but it's like because you like to be comfortable, you like to make sure that they're comfortable. Yeah. But th you're you're like a rock to them. You're like the wall to them. You're like the foundation to them. They see you that way. That's if you have a partner. If you uh, are single... This is what's coming for you. This is really strange, but I'm seeing these two as one. For those of you that are single. I don't see them as one or the other. I see these two as one. 
I see he's got the stability that you need or she's got the stability that you need because Taurus, I've seen, I'm like looking for you males. You've dated some crazy. <laughs> I won't say crazy. You've dated some chaotic women. Yeah, I'm seeing this person is very wise. This person is very stable, but they're also very exciting. They're also very loving. They're also very, um, like they're solid. They don't get stuck, but they know when to take a step or not. Does that make sense in life? So they would be able to guide you into moving forward into something, not tell you, not show you, but guide you and stand beside you. Not in front of you, not behind you. Like this person has just the right mix of being solid and still being able to move. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. Um, okay. So in the outer realm, what you're forming for your path, the ultimate like thing that you're wanting to get to that you have the visions about that your soul kind of knows this is what's forming and coming towards you. Um, you have the six of swords again. So here we go. You have the six of swords. So you're going to come into better times. I know as a Taurus, you won't believe me until it happens. That's fine. Um, it's coming because I see this sun, because I see this pentacles here. Um, this is just a fear. Your higher self is guiding you so that you don't really because so that you don't make the mistakes here. But really, I'm seeing this strength card. You're going to know exactly what to do. You're going to know exactly what to do. In fact, you know exactly what to do, but as it comes closer, you're going to know. You're not going to be stuck. You're not going to ignore the red flags. You're not going to um, choose what you think is comfortable. Like, you've learned that lesson? I've been harping on that too long because they're telling me you've learned that lesson. Yeah. You've learned <clears throat> to get out of your way and move. And go forward. So what's your overall theme? Yeah, you got a clean slate. There you go. You got the full. The full to me tells me that you can do, like you're at a moment in your time and on your path that you get to create. So that feeling of uh, the brightness of the relief of the I got out of that space of the all of that. You're feeling that it's exciting. It's exciting because you're realizing that you can level up, that you can go forward, that you can. Uh, and it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You're not seeing yourself stuck anymore. I don't see you as stuck anymore. Yeah. So here we go. In the first position, you have the sun. This is you right now. So things are coming to you. Things are opening up for you, um, whether you're single or married or coupled or or any of that. It looks like the everybody's eyes are on you. It looks like things are happening for you a lot easier than they were before. Um, and what's crossing you is this Queen of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this is you, right? So this is what's crossing you. This is what's put you here is you being you, like you being the true you. Like you being the boss and handling your business and not ignoring things and finally focusing in on what you need to focus on, right? <clears throat> For some of you that are coupled, um, I'm seeing that you're finally looking to yourself. I'm seeing that you're finally um, loving yourself, even though from your point of view, you wouldn't see it as not loving yourself. But honestly, staying in those spaces where you're, that aren't yours anymore that have toxic people around them uh those are space those that was you not being you that was you talking yourself into being comfortable right so i'm seeing that you finally turn towards you and this is what put you in the sun this is what started everything coming this is what like 
change that vibration or frequency where the energy is easier for you okay so that's what's crossing you now what put you here what put you here was the systems the the i i have to stay in this because this is the most comfortable and how, i don't even know how to get out of it because i'm so entangled in it like this is the big from the outside point of view you'd see it as an organization right or a big like almost like the government like where would you start if you wanted to clear the government right it's too it's so big and it's got so many tentacles right that's what had put you here um that's what put you here was you finally seeing this thing that you thought you could never break away from this space that you thought you could never break away from you just getting up and doing it like getting out of your head and doing what was a little uncomfortable right some of you that is turning back on you and getting like i won't say getting a divorce there's a few of you that might have like begin to start this process now but yeah i am seeing a little bit of that um this entanglement you had with this partner This entanglement you had with this organization, right? This entanglement you had where you didn't know you could get out of it, but you got out of it. Like, it finally made it so strict and so tight and you weren't moving at all that it was it was finally becoming uncomfortable enough for you to move. Okay? That is what put you here. Again, what's coming from you, for you from now until the end of... Uh, the year is the king of wands some of you this is your partner the king of wands this is a leo and aries or a sagittarius uh but this is that partner that takes this i'm talking for people who are coupled the partner moves in the direction that you finally see that you could move in as well and it's almost like for the first part, they take charge and get things done, and then you follow, right? That's just because that's how y'all work in couples. But um, for others of you, this is a person that's going to further get you out of, because you're already out, but it's going to, he's going to help you walk, or she's going to help you take the next step, right? Very exciting, uh, very attractive, uh, very boss-like, knows what they're doing, is not afraid, will take a risk. Um, I'm sorry, this is the swords. I apologize. I was seeing wands, but this is the swords. So this is a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. This person takes risks. This person doesn't get bound by all the emotional stuff. Uh, this person is a leader um but i'm still i don't negate what i said about the wands because i saw wands for a second so i could have been talking to a, a separate uh set of people um that are taurus so with this swords for those of you that are single it's funny with couples i see it as a wand in singles i'm seeing it as a sword that's interesting so single sword this guy's coming, this girl's coming. Uh, they've been through a lot. They've actually, they actually know what you've been through because they've been through it and they can help you through this place in your life. Um, yeah. Now it's going to take them a little longer to like emotionally connect to you. Because they want to help you at first. This may be where the strength card comes in. Okay. Um, from your higher self. Your higher self has the moon. So I'm seeing this two ways. I am seeing that as some of you have gotten out of this space. And have moved forward and have begun to do the things that you want to do and have begin to look at yourself. I want you. Your higher self wants you to look at your reflection. Wants you to see the beauty of you. Wants you to not forget what made you fall in love in the first place. 
Now, let me say this very clearly. It's not like they want you to go back to that person. It It's the feeling that you had when first loving this person. It's the excitement. It's the uh, stability. It's that that your higher self wants you to see that you are that. And that you can have that again. Okay. Now, because I'm seeing that some of y'all want to be jaded about this. Some of y'all don't want to open your hearts about this, right? Some of y'all are like, I don't even want to try that again. The other thing for the another set of you, Taurus, or that I'm seeing that your higher self is saying is don't get back into that space where you were ignoring the red flags and not seeing things for what they were. Be sure to be very clear about what you're seeing. Okay. And your higher self will be there to guide you. All you got to do is ask. Okay. Now, it's funny because I'm talking to three, three different Tauruses. Three different sets of Taurus is what I'm talking to. Um, so here's for January into January. So the end of the year into January, um, you have the strength card for some of you. I'm seeing this a continued story of this person comes in. They may be here to help. They may be here as a friend. They may be here as a colleague and try to just help you because they want to, uh, because they've been through it before, whatever. I'm seeing this. This is where the strength card comes in for that story, for that set of, P of Taurus. Where the strength card is like, what do I do? Do they do they like me? Do they not like me? Do they like, do they like me as more than friends? Uh, would that person be willing to like open their heart for me? Things like that, right? Uh, because they're giving, they're not giving you mixed signals. It's that you don't, you're not getting it clear. Okay. But I see that you get clear about it. Okay. That's for one set of you. The other set of you is there is a decision that has to be made about the relationship that you guys have and how you're going to move forward because you can no longer be where your energy or your energy is like clipped on. I don't know how to say this. Your energy, I feel, is like, so ingrained in them that when you need energy you take it from them instead of taking it from the energy that's in the universe or the energy from your higher self right it's like you're so about not doing it on your own that you're taking too much energy from that person and it's not like they're not giving it. They're giving it to you. I'm just saying, I feel like, and you're not doing it on purpose to be mean or ugly or awful. You just naturally are doing it because of your fears. Um, but I feel like you'll understand this and I feel like you'll be better about this. And this is what, because you guys have some opportunities coming and until you can stand your ground and do what you want, not just what your partner wants to make things okay, it, you're going to continue to take too much energy. And they're going to suffer physically for it. Okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Like, let me give you an example of what I'm seeing when the opportunity comes. When the opportunity comes, you want it and the other person doesn't think it's the right thing to do, but you don't voice your opinion about really wanting it and your intuition being right. Uh, so you just don't say anything. But then, if it's if they don't take the opportunity or y'all don't take the opportunity, then you begin to have awful feelings because you think they didn't choose right and then you start having these I don't know, things against them because they you thought they didn't choose right, but you didn't stand up, right? That's taking too much energy from them. How are they supposed to know unless you say, right? That's what I'm seeing. Now, what's your fear? 
for some of you, that fear is the Queen of Cups. For some of you that are partnered, you're afraid to open to like really delve into the intimacy part of it because there are some things that you ignored and you won't want to bring up because it's in the past and should I even bring it up? Uh, but those things aren't settled in your soul, but you're afraid of how to do this or what to do, right? Those are for those of you that are partnered. For those of you that are single, you're afraid to open your heart again and invest that much time, that much energy and have it fall apart, right? You're afraid that somebody is going to come into your life and really do a number on you and you're not going to see it happen, right? So as much as you want the intimacy, as much as you want the comfort of knowing somebody has your back, as, as much as you want that, you're not willing to open your heart to that. You have a fear of it. It's just a fear. Remember, a fear is there to remind you what you want and what you don't want. Go towards what you want. Okay? Now, um, how is the universe looking at you and how is your partner seeing you? They see you as the king of pentacles, very stable, very comforting, uh, very producing, right? Um, very generous. They see you as all of that. Um, the universe sees you as all of that. As the universe brings you things, though, you get stubborn and here's the thing. I'm saying that if you don't see it or a way to it, that you're not going to do it. And the universe is saying you have magic. You're this energy that has this you of all people of all energies know how to produce from nothing you know how i'm gonna i'm gonna use this scenario and take it as love but you know how to grow to make a seed grow into a plant or into a tree that produces food for the world you know how to do that you understand that you've forgotten that about yourself some of you have forgotten who you are when you understand who you are you will be attracting for those of you that are single the people that you truly want to be around you that means your partners okay now what's the outer realm this is the space where Things are forming. This is your path forming and it's coming towards you. This is the Six of Swords. So you do have some stability coming. You do have... A, you, you, what you have coming is you don't have to strife. You don't have to struggle. You don't, you've allowed yourself to do that, some of you, and it's the wrong thing to do. You, you're not meant to struggle. But you ignore the flags, the red flags, in people, in situations, in things, because you want to stay in your comfort zone. But you're missing the magic. But either way, you've got some better times coming. It's already started. It's going to continue for you. Okay? Again, I was excited about this 10th overall theme. This is what's going to be going on in this next month. You got the full. It's already started happening. You got things happening. You got things moving. You got this is your creative space. This is where you create. This is where you tell the universe. This is where you plant your seeds. This is where you, you know, nourish your seeds to become the plant. Like you get to do this. This is an open space for you. You will see opportunities continue to come for you. Okay. Do not miss. The red flags and learn to love yourself first and then others see them for who they are there are things you're moving in the right direction but there are still things that you don't want to see yet that you're trying not to look at yet okay i hope that helps thank you for letting me in your energy all right everyone i will see you guys tomorrow I love you, love you, love you. I will see you on the next one. Bye.